Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to create a bump chart using Tableau Desktop. So, what is a bump chart? A bump chart shows comparison between two dimensions using a measure of your choice. Generally, it is used when you want to explore the changes in a rank of a value over a period of time or based on any other dimension of your choice. Let's analyze this bump chart that ranks product subcategories over a period of time based on the generated revenue. We have product subcategories on the y-axis and the quarters on the x-axis. Circles represent ranking of each subcategory. You can also see the changing trend of ranking of each subcategory across various quarters. And this trend is represented by the connected lines. For example, cameras ranked 1 in the first quarter, however slipped to the second position in the second quarter and so on. Now let's see how to create this visualization. Drag the day dimension to columns. Let's change the level of the day dimension to quarter as I want to see the ranks for each quarter. We need another dimension here. So let me grab category name and place it under color. We need to rank this view based on the sales revenue measure. To achieve this, let's create a calculated field using the rank table calculation function. Let's place the newly created calculated field onto the rows. This calculation is currently computing rank across the table. However, I'd like this calculation to take category name into consideration as well. For this, let me edit the table calculation. In the Compute Using option, select Specific Dimensions and select Category Name. Close this window and let me also size this view. I also want to see the rank one right on top. To achieve this, reverse the axis scale from the edit axis option. Next thing that I want to do is to display the rank values in form of a circle. To do this, I'll duplicate the rank pill. Now to change the mark type, I'll go to the marks card and select circle. To display ranks in the circles, I'll click the label property enable mark labels and then adjust the alignment as middle center. Now let's combine these charts by right clicking on the rank and selecting dual axis option. Let's also adjust the width by selecting the entire view option. Let's also right click on the rank axis and select synchronize axis. This will synchronize both the axis and get the same range on both of them. Since the rank values are already present in the circles, let's hide the axis and dimension headers. Now let's rename this chart that we have created and call it Bump Chart How Products Have Evolved Over Time. With that, our bump chart is ready. We hope you have learned how to implement bump charts and you'll be able to do it on your own at your workplace. Thank you for watching this video. This video is brought to you by Nice Software Solutions.